A new survey suggests views towards benefit claimants are hardening. Only 27% of people believe that government should spend more in the area compared with 58% in 1991. The latest British Social Attitudes survey also finds trust in government and its ba in, in banks has reached an all-time low. Well, Penny Young is Chief Executive of the National Centre for Social Policy, who compiled the survey. Good morning to you. I mean, I did, as soon as you say trust in banks all-time low, that, there are some things that frankly are not a huge surprise. Well, not a huge surprise, but it is one of the biggest drops in confidence we've ever seen. In fact, it's the biggest one that I can remember. 20 years or, or so ago, everybody, 90% thought the banks were well run. That's a catastrophic drop to 19% now. Um, and it's not only confidence in the banks that has fallen. Confidence in governments of any colour has also, has also fallen. Um, so we're seeing scepticism on the rise. 40% of the public now say they wouldn't trust a government of any colour to do the right thing by the public. And so the important thing really from the coalition's perspective as it tries to implement a programme of really wide-ranging reform is how it takes the public with it. And it's really got to listen hard to the public nowadays. Which is why you talk about political crossroads uh, as a reference as to where we are really. That's right, because in some ways there are mixed messages for the coalition government. I think they'll be heartened that, as you say, attitudes towards welfare, uh, welfare recipients is hardening. But on the other hand, uh, the public has definitely noticed real improvement on core services under the Labour government. NHS, for example, consistently the most important priority in terms of spending for the public. Satisfaction with the NHS actually doubled under Labour. The Labour government inherited satisfaction levels at an all-time low. They left office with satisfaction satisfaction in the NHS at an all-time high. That seems to have been driven by the fact that people no longer have to wait so long for outpatient appointments. So for example, if I was Andrew Lansley, the Health Secretary, about to implement really far-reaching reforms in health service, I'd really be wanting to listen to the public hard on the patient experience because if satisfaction levels start to slip back again, the public are going to notice it and they're going to make that clear to the government. Not just the NHS though, presumably every aspect of where we are at the moment. I mean, this is what you're, you're social trend is, is all about. I mean, would you, Debbie Cameron says he wants to know how happy people are. Would you say that we were happier now than we were 20 years ago, generally? Well, the study doesn't look at happiness generally, but it's But you must pick it up a bit okay, when we talk about what, what make people are happy with or... Sure. Well, pleased I, with. Well, I think in some ways the fact that trust in governments has fallen, trust in the banks has fallen, I wouldn't say we were happier. I think it's very uncertain times and that's really the, the real challenge for the government about to make sure that it does make life better for people in Britain today. And if you take education as another example, certainly again the public noticed real improvements um, in basic skills teaching. Certainly they think that schools can do more to prepare people for work. So I think the public are just quite demanding and a coalition government, no one party one, it's really going to want to listen hard to the public to make sure that it does do the right things and doesn't slip into arrogance, that it listen hard, listens hard to the public the whole time. Was there anything that caught your eye, made you a bit surprised? Well, another thing that's very interesting, um, because the public do think that the gap between rich and poor is too wide, is the Hutton review, for example. So a few weeks ago, we saw that Will Hutton recommended uh, capping public mm. sector pay to 20 times at the, the top what people are paid at the bottom. Mm. The public actually think that, that bosses should only be paid six times what the lowest worker pays. So that's kind of quite a gap between where the public is and where the government is likely to be. And of course, 20 times, that's just a cap being suggested in the public sector. We mm. know that multiples are much, much higher in the private sector. So that was a, a, an eye-catching finding, certainly. Well, Penny, it's good of you to come and talk about them. Penny Young, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.